Hello, all you Wookiee Warriors. How's it going? Coming at you with a tips and tricks video showing you guys how to solve these doors you guys might be seeing if you guys are playing Hogwarts and you're still try haven't figured it out. I know there's a few videos out there, but I thought I'd maybe throw in my way of doing it. Um, I know some people just look at the door, they go from what um, one to nine but the truth or they just count it up but i find that method kind of confusing because it's so easy to start at the bottom as one and then work your way around and you come up with the wrong number now what you want to do for this particular door and i would say start with this one because you actually get a nice little tip on how to solve these is you want to go down to the library annex you want to go get to the division classroom flu powder flu flame location and then you want to go into this archway continue down this hallway i'm not all the way down here sorry and then you want to go take a turn here towards this and you'll see this door Right next to it, but I already picked it up, is going to be a paper. So you're going to go to your uh, guidebook, field guidebook. You want to go down to inventory. Then you want to click here. And then it's going to go Arthamancy study guide. And please forgive me if I mispronounced that. And then you're going to go and you're going to see what the value of every single one of these are. Now, me personally... I just wrote all these down in different representations. So if you have a notebook, if you have a phone, you have a laptop next to you, you can just write these down easy peasy. Um, so I kind of wrote the one at the top as a owl because it kind of looked like an owl to me and so forth and so forth. Um, so, <clears throat> what you're going to do is each one, if you look at the door, you're going to see, you're going to see the two problems here. Now, I represent each one of these problems with a question mark. So, question mark one is problem one, question mark two is, is problem two. Now, you're going to look and you're going to see two dials. I've already solved them, so I guess in this one you can actually already see the answer. But <clears throat> the answer um, on future doors, you'll see that you need to add up from the... You're going to have maybe a representation of one of the animals and a number. And the center number is, your, is what you need to come up with. So you're going to pull out a calculator, or if you could do this in your head, all the power to you. Um... You're going to add up. So we have a Hydra, which is 3. 3 plus 2. Plus, oh, hang on. 3 plus 2 plus 4 will equal up 9. So there's your answer. Then you're going to look at the second problem. You're going to see, well, you got 0, 1, and you need to add up the 4. Well, then you're going to look at it again. You already have, you already have 1. Because the 0 doesn't, obviously doesn't count for anything. Any has no value. So you have 1 already. So you're just going to look at it. I'm like, okay. And your, your answer is simple. Three. I know this one's actually a really simple one. They do get much harder. Um, but that's basically just how I break it down is I look at my values that I've written down. And as I said, if you can do this all in your head, awesome. <laughs> you guys are far more skilled than me. Um, but... 
one method um, is like you count the door knob, the, the symbols on the door, and you come up with the answer there. I just found that overly confusing, um, and never I never got it. Um, so what I end up doing is, but instead of constantly going to your inventory, pulling up that piece of paper and constantly looking at it for your answers. I just I ended up writing them all down. And anytime I had come across one of the doors or anything like that, I just type it, put it into my calculator. Boom, 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 done. But the reason I always, um, because it's very easy to look at like, okay, question mark, question mark, what, what, what? There's a reason why there's one question mark and two question marks. Like I said early in the video, one question mark is problem one, two question marks is problem two. So that's how you should really be divided, um, splitting these up. But yeah, um, that's just the sum with this video, guys. Um, I thought it'd be a nice little video to make for you guys. Um, I, actually, I sadly don't have any of these that I can show you because I'm... I, I solved most of them already, uh, or at least I haven't found any more uh, in the times I'm playing it at the moment. Um, I hope this video was able to help you out. Let me know in the comment section below uh, what you guys thought. Did this video help you? Are you guys currently playing Hogwarts Legacy? And how are you guys enjoying it? Um, if you guys like this video, give it a like. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want to see more content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hope you guys are all having a wookie-tastic day. And I'll see you all on our next adventure. Till next time, see ya!